have this property but uh, that you can easily show that infinitely many curves agree uh, on the limit but still the function does not have a limit because there is a curve that doesn't agree with that infinitely many curves and so here's the function g of x and y is equal to x squared times y over x to the fourth plus y to the second and so evaluate limits of that as x and y approaches zero and zero and in something that i have to uh, go back and and make sure um, that we remember these these are elementary functions but zero and zero is not part of the uh, domain again because um, the, if I plug in 0 and 0 I see that the form is again form is 0 over 0 and that is why we're in investigating other methods basically if it was uh, if I could do direct substitution I would have done direct substitution I thought maybe we should repeat this so if there's no direct substitution so you have to figure out first of all are there uh, two curves that this uh, the limit disagrees on and and so on and so forth so what are the uh, values that that may actually uh, work for us um, and so one way is So one way is um, using the curve, which is a line y equal to mx. So g of x and mx is going to be equal to x squared times mx divided by x to the fourth plus y squared. And this is m x to the third. Oh, y squared should be what? Y squared should be now m x to power two. M x to power two. So um, uh, what you get is x to the power four uh, plus m squared x to the power two. Um, let's try to, um, I know that the reason we're getting zero over zero is um, in factors that are approaching zero. So let's try to factor those out. And so I get um, x to the power two out of the numerator and x to power two out of the denominator out of x4 remains x squared and m2 and then these two are going to be simplified and so you end up with mx over x squared plus m squared if x is not equal to zero which in here technically it's not so now i'm finding the limit of the curve as x approaches zero of mx over x squared plus m squared and one more thing we assume that m is not equal to zero and so here i see that numerator is going to be zero but denominator is non-zero Therefore, the entire thing is going to be zero. So for every y equal to mx, whatever m you want to put in, you can put in 2, 3, 5, 10, 200, whatever you want to put in, um, the limit over the curve y equal to mx is going to be zero. Uh, this seems like infinitely many limits that are zero. As does this mean that the function, the limit of the function is zero? So suspense can see continues until we find one more curve. That is y equal to x squared. So this one was a little bit harder to guess, right? Because if you had found y equal to a line and y equal to x, 
uh, or uh, along y equal to zero or x equal to zero, you would end up with zero again also. Now, y equal to x is a little bit harder to guess, but when you plug it in, uh, basically you end up with f of x and x squared equal to x to the 4 divided by x to the 4 plus x to the 4, which is just 1 half. So this one does not have a limit neither. Um, all these methods that we try to find out in, uh, no limits for, uh, in, in you're starting to kind of get this. Um, when you're trying to find no limits, uh, you basically want to make um, the either the degree of the numerator uh, equal to or less than degree of the denominator. And what do I mean by degree? Uh, it's um, you want to uh, degree is when you add up the um, add up all the um, uh, exponents of each term. So y, what you did in here is y equal to x squared, and that made the degree of numerator 4, which would match the degree of the denominator. And then, uh, so you get, uh, you get a value that is different from just plugging in x equal to 0 or y equal to x, or so on and so forth. And so that's the, that's the trick with this type. Uh, and and in the previous examples, let's go back to previous examples, uh, you saw that the degrees were the same. So all you need to do is, is just do y equal to x for that one. And then um, y equal to zero would work also. And so two curves would be given to you. Over here, the degree of top and bottom are the same. So you tried y equal to x and x equal to zero and y or y equal to zero and in here though when when you degree wasn't equal the tricky curve was um, y equal to x squared and that gave you the right answer now let's go to the link and see the so the picture in here is a little different can you tell that the crease is it has a, a parabola shape so there's a crease with a parabola shape, and that's the cool part. And that's the that's the curve that will give you a different value. It's right there. The crease is a, a parabola shape, and it goes to 1. Everywhere else seems like a lot of things are going to 0. And, that's, and there's another crease that goes to negative 1. That's the cool part. Again, um, one program that you looked that the 